The Negro Speaks of Rivers by Langston Hughes. This is considered to be one of his most famous works of all time. It is also one of his earliest works. The Negro Speaks of Rivers. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood and human rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans and I've seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. This is typical Langston Hughes. The theme of this poem is that black people have a very rich culture, a very deep history, and it deserves to be respected and recognized by all. How does he able to make this point and emphasize this point? Well, he does it mainly through repetition and imagery. He repeats that I've known rivers. He talks about rivers throughout the entire poem because he's comparing the rivers running through the world and rivers running through human bodies or human blood running through human bodies to show that we're talking about from now all the way back to the beginning of time. He's trying to show how long black people have been an established presence on the face of the earth. There's a lot of imagery that can be seen when he talks about bathing in the Euphrates, when he's talking about building huts near the Congo, when he's talking about raising the pyramids in, along the Nile River in Egypt, when he's talking about Abe Lincoln traveling from the Mississippi down to New Orleans, its, muzzy, its muddy bosom turning golden in the sunset. All of these are images that allow you to visualize the point that he's making in the poem. There's also personification because the speaker of the poem is speaking as if he or she is one person talking about their own personal history. When in actuality, they're talking about the entire black race and what the black race has done on the planet Earth since they've been here. Langston Hughes uses imagery, repetition, and personification all to emphasize the theme of the poem. When I write my literary analysis paper, I have to be able to do all of this brainstorming and analyzing that I just did and formulate it into a paragraph for each poem. How would I do that for this poem? I could say, Langston Hughes wrote The Negro Speaks of Rivers to uplift his race. The theme is that African Americans have a deep history and culture which should be recognized and respected by all. He personifies the black race by making them the speaker of the poem. One person in the poem speaks of himself in reference to a whole race. The poem is filled with imagery describing life in ancient Africa. This can be seen clearly when he talks about building pyramids along the Nile River, which is Egyptian history, which is also African history.